Hello, I'm Christy Rome, Executive Director of the Texas School Coalition. We represent the interests of Chapter 41 districts, or revenue contributing districts, who together send over $1 billion a year of local tax money to the state through Robinhood. Last year, school districts wrestled with balancing their budgets following the first reduction to state funding for education in more than 60 years. Due to inadequate funding for schools, a majority of school districts in Texas have filed lawsuits against the state to seek the funding that students in Texas deserve. The 2012-2013 school year promises to be busier than ever, with events unfolding that will shape the future of public education for years to come. First, the school finance trial will begin in October. The outcome will directly affect the educational opportunities your district can offer your children. Also, the Texas Legislature will convene in January, and while a final court ruling might not be issued during the regular session, lawmakers will adopt a budget and consider bills that will determine the level of funding available for schools. It is critical that revenue contributing districts be heard loudly and clearly with a unified voice throughout this process. During the legislative session, we must take the opportunity to inform lawmakers about the economic importance of our revenue contributing districts and suggest ways to improve funding for all schools. Many Chapter 41 districts are in parts of the state that are the economic drivers for Texas. The people who live, work, and raise families in these areas of the state should be encouraged to continue doing so by ensuring that their public schools benefit from the contributions they make. Remember, classification of a district as a Chapter 41, or revenue contributing, doesn't always mean it is primarily made up of wealthy students and parents. Our school finance system is not a problem of some schools having too much money. It is a problem of most schools having too little money. State funding for education has been reduced, but that seems to be the only thing on the decline. State standards and assessments have increased. Class sizes have gone up, and so has Robin Hood. While Robin Hood was meant to be a temporary fix to address equity almost 20 years ago, more and more districts are designated as Chapter 41 every year. The number of revenue contributing school districts has increased from 35 in 1993 to close to 400 today. Collectively, revenue contributing schools have sent over $15 billion away from their local schools and communities since Robin Hood has been in existence. On an annual basis, Chapter 41 school districts send almost as much money to the state as the Texas Lottery. There is a lot at stake, and we at the Texas School Coalition cannot fight this battle alone. That's why we've launched a grassroots network, the Coalition of Revenue Contributing Schools, to engage parents, teachers, taxpayers, and civic leaders. Please visit www.crcstx.org for more information and to volunteer as a community member who is willing to contact their legislators. Because even with a favorable court ruling, there is no guarantee lawmakers will make suitable financial provisions for revenue contributing schools. Your participation can make a difference. This is a critical issue affecting the future of your children and your community, and you must be heard. Thank you.